Question, is the atom a black hole? What about the proton? Is there a gravitational singularity there? Mm. That's, that's, that's key. Very At the time, I said, okay, well, you know, I'm going to predict that we're going to find black holes in the middle of galaxies, in all galaxies, and that um, we're going to find that the black hole was there first, and then the galactic structure was hmm. generated. Yeah, that makes sense. And because it's... Because you have to start at the point of singularity. That's right. Right, where there's like kind of a dot at the beginning or something. Right, and then the, the center of the spin, right? The, the shaft that everything spins around. And so, um, so I, you know, the, because from my view, the vacuum is spinning. The structure of space-time is already spinning. And mm -hmm. what we see as the galaxy is just the stuff is, is in the spin. Just like when you spin your coffee in the morning and it's black, mm -hmm. when you take the spoon out, if you didn't spin it too much, you can't see it spin. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as you put the coffee in it, then you can see. Mm -hmm. It makes a galaxy, right? And so the same idea is that you know, the, 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 the black hole, the spin is in the structure of space-time, and the stuff that's in it makes it visible to us. Mm -hmm. So, and so then they eventually found black holes at the center of all the galaxies we looked at, and uh, it's pretty well accepted now that there's a black hole, a supermassive black hole at the center of most galaxies, but as well, um, they found recently, in the last few years, that now we're able to see far enough Mm -hmm. that previously from the galactic formation, the black holes were present. So that the black hole is not the result of the galaxy, but the galaxy is the result of the black hole. And so that, you know, those are predictions I made that are, you know, coming through now. And so the, to answer his question as well for the atom, what I'm saying is that the proton acts just like a cosmological black hole where the strong force, it doesn't have the mass of the black hole if you don't consider the energy of the strong force that it, that's holding everything mm -hmm. to that proton. But when you do, then you get the exact mass of the black hole. So it's not approximately, it's exact, you know. So there's a there's pretty good chance that's correct and, and that you get the right range and all this stuff. But as well, it's saying that it's black holes are not the monster things that so when I say the nuclei of the atom, the proton is a black hole, it can give the wrong impression. Oh, yeah, the, when I, I heard this first time, I said, you know, I was kind of lost because you have this kind of a f picture of the black hole, this monster devouring yeah. all the galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah sucking yeah. everything in. But you know, you have to add, and uh, we should look at this online. Uh, the, the the torque, you know, the right. The Taurus picture, because right. you have to understand this, and and this is part of the whole picture, you know. That's so right. this is how we can, we can. Uh, on yeah, they're talking the about balance. You mm -hmm. get a balance relationship between the spin of the black hole mm -hmm. and the surface of the black hole, so that so that you know when things spin, they pull out. They have exactly. centrifugal force. So th if you have a balance, then the the system is stable. Exactly. It's not just sucking stuff in. And even at the galactic level, now they're starting to see closer to the event horizon of black holes. And they're very surprised to see that most stuff actually doesn't fall in because the spin is high enough that mm -hmm. it's keeping things All in. depend where, from what angle, perspective you are looking at the universe. That's right. Are you at, at no, I wouldn't say perspective, but at what scale? At, Can we say that? That's right. At yeah. what scale, how far you are from the object you're ob observing, mm -hmm. or even if you're looking at the poles or if you're looking at the equator. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at the poles, you might see stuff falling in. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking at the equator, you might see stuff coming out. Exactly. Right. And you gotta, as well, people have to re realize, like in the standard model, there's investments that are en enormous. Uh, enormous. Over, uh, over 100 years of physics. Uh, accelerators that you know to find the Higgs boson you know that cost 13 billion dollars to build you know it's like oh my god this guy comes around we're just gonna scrap all this you know um, but at the end of the day it's not actually like we're gonna scrap all this it's just 
it's the next step it's actually it integrates nicely we just got to realign some of the stuff that wasn't quite well understood and then all of a sudden it it's going to flow the, the, this is the way